Hi. When I was growing up, we used to have cookies called lemon coolers. And David and I have talked about those cookies and said, wow, wouldn't it be great if we could do that sugar free? Back when those things first came out, if you opened the box, you would finish the box. So I'm fixing to show you how to make a lemon cooler cookie. It's sort of a crackle version because we're going to put uh, beaten egg whites in here that's going to make it a little crisp and make it kind of crack open when it cooks. But we're going to show you how to make a lemon cooler cookie with, with a fantastic flavor with no sugar and it's uh, got the almond flour in there for protein. It's really a lemon cooler protein cookie. So simple. I've gone through this two or three times already tonight because I'm having technical difficulties. But you can see uh, this is the finished cookie. Um, they will crack open. You can put a little yellow food color in there if you want to and they'll crack open and it will look like you're looking down into a lemon. And then you have the confectioner sugar up there. It's just really good. It looks good if you like lemon. And uh, I talked to my son. We said, you know, you could probably do this with uh, a chocolate version. Uh, any number of things could be done with this recipe. And we may do that later. But right now, let me show you how easy this is. Two cups of almond flour. Make it scant rather than over. I mean, you can make it right on the line, but don't go over or your cookie will be too dense. So, two cups almond flour, one cup of a granulated, no sugar, no calorie sweetener. This happens to be Splenda. Uh, erythritol or monk fruit might be even better. This is very sweet. Some people don't like it because it's so sweet. And you want to put a quarter teaspoon of salt in the mix because if you don't, uh, the cookie will be a little flat, okay? Quarter teaspoon. And uh, incorporate that and drop in four packs of this true lemon, crystallized lemon really good. You could use zest if you like, but I'm not a fan of zest. It tastes a little bitter. This here just tastes like lemon juice. It's really good. Drop in four packs of this. And when you get to open these little packs, don't just tear them. It's a soft pack. It will frustrate you. Take some scissors and kind of cut it jagged, and that way it'll just pop right open for you. But, you know, drop in four of these, which I've already done, because like I said, this is my third take Learning to use a video camera is um, special. So drop in four of those. And you want to take two egg whites at room temperature because if uh, they're not at room temperature, they'll start to dry out and separate. Your cookies might be too dry. But beat them into stiff peaks. See how stiff this is? Okay. And um, drop that in there. And um, just mix it up. It'll take you about a minute to mix it up. I'm not going to go through this process again right now because I've done this. This is my third time, but it's pretty easy to just incorporate that in there. It takes you about a minute to mix it. And then after you get that mixed, you will start dipping it out. I've already got some mixed up in here. Uh, dip it out in little balls about a heaping tablespoon. Um, and a um, little ball like that, and you want to roll it and some of your confectioner swerve with the true lemon in there, about a quarter cup of confectioner swerve with a pack or two of the true lemon. Just kind of roll it in there. Take your ball out, put it on your cookie sheet, and smash it. And see, it's, see how it cracks open? And if you've got the lemon, uh, I mean the yellow food color in there, it just looks like a lemon has it, you know, just been mashed out on your cookie sheet. Um, I didn't have any yellow food coloring, so mine don't have that effect. But you can see how it cracks open and the sugar just, you know, sort of sits there. And then when it cooks, it will 
open up and look like you just smashed a lemon on the tray with some sugar on it. And then you put them in a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. Um, you don't want them to get too brown because one mistake people make when they're baking cookies is they let them get too done. They look at them until they look nice and brown on the top. If you do that, your cookie is going to be burned on the bottom. So no more than 15 minutes, maybe less, depending on your oven. If they are starting to look a little bit brown on the top, like this right here, you can bet they're ready to come out because, see the bottom? You don't want that any browner than it is or your cookie's gonna taste burnt. So um, I'm gonna put the nutritional information up for these in just a little while. I can tell you they taste fantastic and the texture is really good. Uh, it's just like a really wholesome protein cookie. Uh, got a little chewy crunch to it. Really good. Got a nice bite and it is so lemony. And yet that confectioner swerve, it just mixes in there perfectly. Just like the old lemon coolers, only a little crunchy and chewier. Really good. So I'll try to get this up in just a little while and uh, with the nutritional information because you, even though it is sugar-free, it's got a little protein in it, it's a healthy snack. Remember, you always have to count your calories. Calories are what makes you either win or lose the battle of weight management. So count your calories. Sometimes we make the mistake of thinking just because something has got healthy ingredients, doesn't have sugar, that we can just eat it at will. That's not true. So I'll get the, the uh, nutritional information worked out and get this up. And I hope that you like them. So easy to make and so good. Catch you next time. Brenda Sue. Bye now.